What's up everybody, back in with another episode of The Sims 3. We're back in my crib. I miss my family, I miss me and Madison. <laughs> so we came back here, I wanna uh, do some fall time stuff. I swear they're the best couple in life. Let me just live my life like this in the future. Have all kinds of kids, successful, live in a big house. I'll be one happy motherfucker. But nah, what I wanna do though is I wanna, um. I don't want to renovate this house, but I did want to put some Halloween stuff up, but I forgot to download it last night. So I was wondering if there's any Halloween stuff already in the game, like for like seasons or something. So I'm going to check that out real quick, and if there's not, then I just will do that next episode or, the, or a couple episodes in the future. Um, I see they got a Scarecrow. I guess that's kind of cool. That's kind of Halloween-ish. It's kind of Halloween-y. Uh... I guess I could put it there, yeah. Put two little scarecrows up. Maybe they do have some Halloween decorations. Uh, it looks like that's all there is, though. Doesn't look like much else is here. Damn, if you got the scarecrow, why not go out and get some pumpkins? Where's the music? We need some music going. Damn, they don't have nothing else in here, either. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to go download some... Uh, some Halloween stuff. Hold on, let me put some music on. Well, that's all right. Basically, what we'll do is I'll buy some Halloween stuff this weekend, and we'll we'll decorate it up. Um, I do want to get this house a little bit back to like two people living in it. Like these motorcycles. There's really no point in having these motorcycles because nobody drives them. <laughs> so basically, all I really need is my car, which is the Venador and the Ferrari, and then. Um, Madison's cars, which is the G wagon, and then I want to buy her a. I want to buy her like a sedan, like a really nice sedan. Damn, I don't have that much money to spend. I mean, I do, but and I don't really want her to have the Tesla. I could buy her a Rolls Royce. I feel like the Rolls is just a little small. It's like the smallest car in here. It's like it's not proportioned right. Maybe the Mercedes. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of this Mercedes. Yeah, maybe we'll go with the Audi, the A8. Or the S8, whatever that is. I think that's the A8. Yeah, it is. Uh, I think we're going to go with the A8. That way we got a nice sedan for like if we want to just go out on the town. We got the G-Wagon if we want to be Kylie Jenner. We got the Lambo if we want to be Kanye. And we got the, the Ferrari if we want to be Justin Bieber. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, nah, but for real though, I think this is a nice collection of cars. You pretty much got everything you need here. So, that's cool. I did want to make a new garage where my kids' rooms was. Um, but I didn't want to really like do that on camera. Because on The Sims 4 this weekend, we're going to be doing some renovations. So I don't want to do two renovation episodes like that. So I guess I'm going to leave that alone. Um, and do some gameplay instead. I love this little Halloween stuff though. I gotta definitely get some more. You know what I've been wanting to do? I need to replace this. This shit is blinking and it's been driving everybody crazy. Let's just get a new bench. There we go. Perfect. Alright, I know a couple people were saying get a kid. I mean, adopt another kid. Um, I'm kinda down with that idea though. I feel like the downstairs needs to be renovated for a kid though. The upstairs is perfection. I feel like the upstairs of this house is about as good as you ever gonna get. Hold on, what does this say? Eternally faithful. Eternally faithful Sims better make it right. Hold up. <laughs> Eternally faithful Sims better make the right choice when they choose a spouse. They'll be with them for eternity. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I've been I've been with Madison so long, and I'm actually like a really faithful husband. That's cool because all of that bullshit I was doing at the beginning, I found my soulmate. Isn't that sweet? I love how we match though. Like, that's raw. I think this game is too loud. The Sims 4, like, really is quiet, so I have to turn the game up really high. But, um, alright, let's get into the game. What do we got? What are we doing? I got some lifetime wishes to use. Should I use those? Yeah, let's use them. Why not? Why not see what we can get? I think I've pretty much gotten everything you can get. Um, 
there's not really much in here. I guess extra creative. I can get another genie lamp. But I got as much money as I really need now. Um, I really don't need any of this stuff. Maybe perfect host. Maybe. But everything else is... Maybe I'll become a star. You know what I was thinking about doing? Like, I know I'm a superstar actor and Madison's like a scientist. But I was thinking about us becoming entertainers. Like, doing shows and stuff. I know I said I was going to do that with Justin Bieber, but I kind of want to do it with myself because, like, it's me instead of Justin Bieber. So, <laughs> I might do that. So, I might need to get that engaging because I definitely might be doing some performances. Um, what else? The next big thing is a good one to grab. I think I'm going to buy another Plumbot, too. We're going to go to the future in the future. <laughs> We're going to go to the future in the future. Um... I don't know about the rest of these. I think the rest of these can just wait. And then what about Madison? I think I want to make Madison a, a superstar too. So she needs to get engaging. And she doesn't already. Oh yeah, she has that. And then the next big thing too. Why not become superstars, you know? Alright, perfect. Alrighty. Where we at? Where we at? What we doing? So what am, what am I making? Oh, I'm actually unemployed. I actually don't even have a job. Madison is a top researcher in science, which is good. I like that, but I kind of want to make her a singer. Oh, man. What do I do here? I guess I could always come back to the science career. It's just the science career is a little bit boring. And she's been doing it a long time, so why not try something different, you know? So let's get into it. Post in the comments what you got what you guys think I should do with the downstairs. Like this part here is gonna stay the same. But like, should I put a bigger garage over here so I can face my car sideways, like I was telling you guys, or should I make this like should I leave it bedrooms for future kids? Or should I leave it like I don't know. Should I just make it look better? Cause this really should be only three bedrooms, not three bedrooms and four beds maybe if I hire a butler this could be like the butler's house butler's room I don't know I'm gonna do a lot more stuff when I get another computer which is like 25 27 more days it might be a little longer because I'm gonna have to order it so it might be like a week after that too but I'm counting down for 28 days or 27 days alright yeah I wanna make Madison a singer and I wanna make myself a singer Alright, this is for Madison, right? Impress Heartbreak? Nah. Her name is gonna be Madison... Should I name... Nah, because Beer will be her name before she married me. Okay, so it'll be Madison Daniel. I know a lot of people that are, like, famous will keep their last name and then add another one. So it'd be like that, but that just looks stupid. So we're gonna put Madison... Actually, we're just gonna call her Madison. That's what we're gonna call her, Madison. Bam. Alright, so Madison's now a singer. A novice singer. You know, I'm thinking maybe I don't want to make myself a singer. Because if I make myself a singer, that's going to be a lot of, like, singing action. What the hell just happened? Don't tell me this game for... You stupid mother... Oh my god. Why? You know what's crazy? This happened to me yesterday with The Sims 4. It's like... Do you not want me to make YouTube videos no more? Because you better try harder because I'm going to keep fucking doing these YouTube videos. No matter how shitty these damn computers are. Okay. Um, I guess maybe I should go back in here and see if this will work again. Damn, man, that pissed me off for real. Shit. And we ain't, we ain't even into the episode yet. I can't even pause it. <laughs> That's what sucks about this situation. Post in the comments if you want to see me play any of those games. I don't have a lot. I kind of want to play Mass Effect, but I feel like if I played Mass Effect, I wouldn't play anything else. And that's not going to be good for anybody. I think this weekend, I'm going to have to like clean out this computer. But see, I don't even want to. Because, like I said, in like three weeks, I'm going to be buying the, the, the new Alienware or I'm going to be building a computer. So I don't know. 
All I know is I appreciate you guys watching my videos even though my shit is hella. What the hell was that? Was that a fucking hawk or a falcon? Damn, I think that was. Okay. <laughs> he swooped down on something. Um like I was saying, even though my videos can be helly like all over the place sometimes. Like they can be a little bit not professional. But I feel like Oh my bad. This hawk was out there. I think that's a hawk. He was flying after this other bird. I was like, is he about to like take him out? But I don't think he was. I think he was just flying in the same direction. But um yeah, so my videos aren't the best, but I, I appreciate you guys watching them and showing love anyway. Because it's just natural, you know? Most people would have cut this out. I didn't. But I think I'm going to because these loading screens are going to take forever. And I don't think I'm going to be able to ramble on long enough through the screens to keep you occupied. Even though I might be able to. <laughs> I'm going to try another Apple store today and see if I can get that iPhone. That black one. But uh, I got to drive like, like a half an hour away. I don't know. But um, yeah, and then I need to go to the Best Buy and try out that Galaxy, I mean that uh, Note, yeah that Galaxy Note, get that Xbox One. You know I still haven't even bought an Xbox One yet. I want to get the white one because I'm going to build a TV stand, right? I'm kind of a do it all motherfucker, but I'm like super swag with it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very different person. Like, I'm seriously like Hollywood to the max, but I could build stuff like I could build a table I could build a TV stand and then I could go from building a TV stand building a table to sunglasses scarf pea coat just like don't fucking touch me cuz I'm the shit and I can go from that to just chilling with the homies watching like a football game or a movie or something just laid back chilling go from that to outside doing the yard work I'm just an all-around all-around superhero in this bitch <laughs> Nah, but for real, I do do a lot. Just a lot of different stuff. But I feel like that's what makes you a better person. All the way around. Don't be one-sided, you know what I'm saying? Be a full 360 person. Be kind, be courteous, be charitable. But at the same time, somebody tries you, then you gotta handle your business. I've been recording since like two, and I only recorded like three episodes. But these loading screens are definitely taking forever, you know? So I'll probably just speed these up. Unless I could do some shout outs. That's actually a good time to do some shout outs. Let's do some shout outs real quick. Um, let's shout out people on Let's shout out people on Instagram. Okay, I added this person and they still haven't added my request. I'm about to unrequest your ass. Hold on. Shout out to um hold up. Shit before I get there, the damn thing's gonna be over with. Uh, shout out to I got caught up my bad let's go on the Sims 4 video and shout some people out I think I'm gonna start replying to these comments I had like I, I used to reply to every single comment and then I it became too many but I I'm gonna reply to the <laughs> I'm gonna try and reply to the comments that uh, I get on the video from that day and I guess we're back in the day I guess I can talk for too long because I just talked through that entire process of starting the game back up. And that takes that takes a lot of rambling skills. Um, Alright, so we're back where I left off. Which is not that bad. Because all I did was put a scarecrow in and get them a job. So let's put the scarecrows back in. If this shit freezes again though, like it might, I might have to take a couple days from playing this. Which sucks. I, I know I say that a lot. But I try not to let you guys down, so I try to get it done. But I just let you know just in case it might not be an episode tomorrow or it might not be an episode. So you guys know ahead of time. Some YouTubers just like, I ain't gonna say no names, but this one dude just pretty much left his channel. Like, left it. Didn't say shit, just left it. And to me, it's kind of rude when people do that. Like, you got a lot of people watching you. And then you just stop making videos without saying nothing. Like, I'm pretty sure if you told people something, you was going through something, like, I don't know, something happened in your family, or just needed a break from YouTube, if you just tell the people, they'll get it. It's like, just if, uh, say, uh, I don't know, Nickelodeon just decided to say, fuck it. 
<laughs> just no Nickelodeon for like two months. And be like, why the hell did y'all do that? They would lose a lot of respect because they didn't say anything. Where if they said like, okay, Nickelodeon will be down for two months. Um, we apologize, but such and such and such and such. Then at least you have a reason why they stopped doing it. That's how I feel like YouTube is though. Because it's like a channel. It's a TV channel. But back to the game. Um, <laughs> I think I can ramble on more while playing this game and not playing like just spinning the camera around than I can when I'm actually trying to play it like if I just do this the whole episode I could talk the entire episode when I'm actually playing it requires a little bit more time a little more what the hell was that popping in my ear I didn't get to do any shout outs hold up let's just get some new jobs alright for me what do we want to get me into I could get into science you know, I think I might do that. I might get my dude into science and then get Madison into singing. It would like be our lot. Lo uh, <laughs> Why the fuck isn't the singing career in here? Oh, God. Why does this game like hate me sometimes? Like it's clearly clearly the exact same thing I just did. So why isn't it popping up is the question. All right, let's try this one more time. That's weird because I couldn't find a singing career for Justin either. You know, I don't think we live in a good city for a singing career. I don't think we do. Damn. Oh, boy. I kind of want to do the stylist career. You know what I might have to do, though? I might have to either put in a whole bunch of places where they could do performances. Or I might have to move towns. See, I don't want to move towns, though. Ain't nothing like Bridgeport. Like, I mean, look at that. You can't beat that, man. There's no other town in The Sims that, I mean, that this this stock. I mean, you could probably download towns like this, but it's got this kind of view. So I don't want to go anywhere else. But, you know what? I think I'm going to have to edit the town. I think that's why that career's not popping up. It could just be me not doing something right or it's just not popping up because it's just not time for it but I think it might not be popping up because I don't have any singing like places where they can actually do the singing gigs at because you gotta have like cafes places where you could actually sing at and I don't think this town has any that place is supposed to be like LA does but I don't like that place because there's like horses and stuff in the city and it's just stupid <laughs> I could play there though but to me, like I've never really been, I've never been to LA, so I don't really know what LA is like. But I know what I've seen, and I feel like Bridgeport is more like LA than that place is. But I could be wrong about that. I just feel like Bridgeport's got the, this is like the hills, and that's the city. From playing Grand Theft Auto, I mean, a lot of people that live in LA told me that Grand Theft Auto is hella accurate when it comes to LA. So. Which, from what I see on TV and movies, I think it, it pretty much is. I don't know. All I know is I want a house like this in real life. That's all I know. Looking down at the city. It would be kind of cool to build that here in Cleveland, too. It would probably be hella cheap, too. <laughs> you build a house like this in L.A., it would probably be like $4 million, if not more. You build it here, it would probably only cost you like five hundred thousand maybe 750 I don't know they built some raw houses like this not like this but little tiny houses that were modern on the outskirts of Cleveland and the thing about Cleveland is like the downtown area is surrounded by ghetto ass Ratchetville city and it's just fucked up over there like abandoned houses and everything and they had these two modern houses kind of right next door to a fucked up neighborhood and it's like I don't know if I'd want to live there. You stick out like a sore thumb. You know? But that's beside the point. I had to ramble through that uh, saving screen. Alright, so I need to find some businesses that came with Showtime. Showtime is the blue one, ain't it? Yeah, I think Showtime is the blue icon. Um, You know what I wanted to put back in that I never put in is the Bot Emporium. This is a 40 by 30. 
Hold up, where did I put that at? I remember putting it downtown, and I don't remember where I put it, though. Was it here? Nah. I don't remember where I put it, and I don't want to waste you guys' time. So let's go with Showtime. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so we got the big, big venue, which is here. We got the small shop, which is a, 20, a 32 by 29. You know, this is kind of weird for me because I feel like I've already put this stuff in this city, but when I had to restart the game, a lot of it, damn, a lot of it um disappeared. So what this is, a 20 by 35? 20 by 35. Okay, so I need to have a 30 by 30 for this to work. See, it's not a lot of open places here, though. Like, that's the one thing that I don't like about Bridgeport. It's like there is a lot, but there's not a lot. I don't know. You know what I mean though? Like if I put a 30 by 30, well, I should probably put a 35 by 30. 35 by 25, 30, 40 by 40. See, there's no place I could put a 40 by 40 at. It's just, it doesn't exist. Even here, you should be able to put it here, but it's like, it won't let you. Oh man. You know what's crazy about this game and about life in general? Like you know Apple Maps, how they had that thing where you had the 3D maps? It's kind of like this now. Like, we literally live in a world where you could have a 3D rendition of the world. I don't know if you guys have ever saw this movie called Deja Vu with Denzel. It reminds me a lot of that. That was a damn good movie, too. I was young when I watched it, but I remember it being hella good. There's literally no place for me to put this. And I could put it here, but you know it's gonna like be really messed up. <sighs> Should I put it here? I don't wanna put it there, cause then it's gonna be like really deep and it's gonna be like carved into that hill. Fuck it though, I need to put it somewhere. Take that, put the 32 by 29 here. I gotta make this residential, don't I? All right, what do we wanna make this again? What is this, a small, is this a coffee shop or something? I don't even know what the hell this is. I would like to put, is it a coffee house? Live show venue, I think it's a live show venue. It's what they consider this as. Yeah, live show venue. All right, we just set this in here. Hopefully it builds down into the hill and not up above the hill. So at least it's like ground level. Sometimes it'll build and it'll be like a big raised up in the ground. It's just really, it's really up in the air right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's really up in the air all right see it really kind of did it like I didn't want it to see this is what I didn't want I didn't want it to be like ground level and then BAM it raises up I wanted it to be all ground level and then it just carve into the hill but you know what I can rock with this though I can make this work I can make this work I believe I can make this work you gotta believe in yourself, you know? Because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. That's some good advice. Um, Alright, so let's try and make this go down. Okay, not that. Um, we want to soften terrain. See, I don't know, this might be too much of a height thing to, like, soften. Yeah, this shit is way too high up. What I could do though, is maybe build some steps, right? Maybe not. Damn, see I can't really build steps because it's not a lot of area to build steps. Damn. Okay, hold up, we could do this. We could definitely do this. I just need to put this like this. All right, and then grab the steps point them bitches that way. I mean, that's kind of like unrealistic, but at the same time, how do you make like the steps? You know like how, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but I'm definitely trying to say it. But you know how like some places have steps, but they're not like a big flight of steps like that. They like go like from here to like here, then they hit the ground like there. Does that make any sense? Like, I say like a lot. Like if the stairs went here to there, or like here to there, and then to there, and then to the ground. So it's not just like one straight step. 
I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is it's about to be one straight step because that's the only way I can get this shit to work right now. And I don't want to waste everybody's time trying to get it to work another way. So if you fall off that big long step, you'll die. Probably. <laughs> It would be a horrible insurance policy thing with that. But you know what? The Sims don't have insurance policies and the Sims can't sue each other. So we're not worried about that. All I'm worried about is so they can get into the place. Let's go back home and see if the singing career popped up. Hopefully it did. If it didn't, then that just means that that had nothing to do with anything. And I just wasted my time. Alright, let's go back up here and let's go to... Jobs and professions, finding profession. Oh, it's still not up here, so I just wasted my time. Okay, well, I'll try back in another time. At the, in the meantime, you guys just fucking make out or something. Where are we at on time? I need to record another episode. Damn, we had 30 minutes. All right, everybody, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with some Mo Sims 3 action. Base.